Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. It's been said that if you fail to plan, you should plan to fail. And for some people, that's true. I'm more of a doer, and sometimes that does get me in trouble. I've tried to plan, you know, using software and whatnot, but, um, you know, my last attempt at designing a home office was an utter failure. Uh, I ended up with furniture that was just too large. Um, and it, granted, it, it all worked out in the end, made a few exchanges and whatnot, but apparently inches don't measure the same as centimeters. Who knew? Just kidding. Well, only half kidding. I didn't have good software. Every home planning, room planning, just any kind of dimension planning software I've ever used has just been bad. It's either been expensive or just a, just a horrible experience. You know what I'm talking about? It's just painful because it wasn't designed very well. Oh, 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 the irony. So, uh, imagine my joy when I stumbled across this particular website, which is currently partially in beta. If you head over to v3.planningwiz.com, and I'm sure people in the chat room here at live.perillo.com will key that in so that you can get a direct copy from it right there in the chat room. V3, so it's version 3 of their online planning tool, and it is nice. Yes, an online planning tool. Nothing to install, no need to register, drag and drop, that simple. They have templates set up. They have, uh, you know, dimensions already kind of mapped out, like in terms of average size for this type of furniture, that type of furniture. Uh, for instance, right here, I'm uh, in the, uh, I guess, bedroom category, and I've got a bed here, which I can rotate at any given angle. I can drag and drop it. I can resize it. I can make it smaller. I could even go down and, and add, uh, let's see here. Oh, what is that? That's a nightstand, all right? I'm uh, going to add that. I'm going to set it at the same angle. Oh, look at that. It's got a, got the measurements right now in, in meters, all right? Let's see here. Oh, well, let's say I don't want to do my own bedroom. I could have very easily started with a, a preset plan. There's a preset plan for a living room, all right? I could have changed the floor settings. Right now, they got a hardwood floor. If I wanted to, I could make it uh, AstroTurf. Maybe some people like AstroTurf in their family room. I don't know. It, it looks like AstroTurf. So anyway, you can go through. Uh, you can annotate it with text. You can change the colors, the angle of anything, the size of anything, decide where everything that you could possibly put inside a room would sit and how large it is in respect to other items. And especially if you're dealing with a new room, even after you've taken measurements, it's always good to use software to help you kind of make the finishing touches, so to speak, so you can get a mental idea from overhead what it's going to look like. Now, you may already be using Google's free SketchUp tool. That's fine. However, I will tell you that PlanningWiz3, this at V3, currently v3.planningwiz.com, they may change it by the time you look at it. It may just be at planningwiz.com. Who knows? Um, it's pretty much built specifically for helping you mentally, in, in many ways, virtually put together what your room is going to be and what's going to be in your room, at least you know from an overhead view. Uh, you're able to even go through and uh, you know pick out certain types of objects, structural objects. So if you wanted to say have an arched doorway, you could easily drag and drop it in there, uh, change how wide it is simply by dragging and dropping either end. Uh, if you want, uh, you can uh, go in and configure a different wall. So maybe you don't have a square room. Maybe it juts out at a certain point. You can add that very easily. You can save the plan. You can print the plan. You can save or email the plan to somebody. You can request a quote if you want, because of course, you know, it's a free app, so they got to make money somehow. Uh, and then, of course, you can also go full screen with the web browser. I don't like doing that. And so uh, it's one of the reasons why I'm running it inside of Firefox with the uh, setting that I have uh, not to resize the browser window uh, without me really telling it to. Anyway, it's a really nice tool, probably one of the better ones I've seen. Certainly the price is good. The design is, uh, you know, good. Um, it, the accessibility is good. I, honestly, this is the kind of thing that would keep me from planning 
not having a tool like this. I would have totally used this if I would have known about it or if it had been released at the time that I was planning the room. Certainly I'll remember it uh, as I you know, move forward. Now if you know of any other web-based software or desktop software or just any type of tools that can help with home improvement or just planning in general, whatever, let me know. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Uh, and you're also welcome to stop by the chat room. And you'll normally see me feeding this live video feed, feeding my live video feed, as opposed to drinking it. <sighs> the camera is usually pointed in this direction uh, in, my, in my home office. And if I panned the camera back, you'd see more of it. Although it's pretty much just nothing more than my curtains and my desk. And this bamboo. Didn't plan for the bamboo. It just happened. Sometimes... Yeah, it's no scent. There's nothing that doesn't flower or anything. It smells like uh, water and rocks and bamboo. Typically we're talking tech. Planning ahead, or at least trying to. You never really know, though, until you stop by, say hello in the chat room, and uh, join us. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.